Good morning, it's Andy Prothero and Sue Ellen. We're in the woods, it is raining, and I am under my umbrella. So it's the first video I'm making on behalf of IIRSM, the Wales branch. And as I said, one of my objectives is to talk about risk from the ISO 31000 uh, perspective. So that's what I'm gonna, gonna do today. So 31000, 2018, it's not a certifiable ISO standard. Many people do consult to it. I personally do consult to it. I think it's a fantastic standard with the three. It has what I call the sort of the big three. That's the principles, that's the framework and the risk management process, which I really do uh, believe deeply in. The first thing really we've got to do, um, and that's why I guide myself, and that is have my own, have my own definition of risk. Something that I can go to, that I understand, that I can articulate to myself, that I can navigate through situations with and importantly that I can also then articulate to clients as well when I'm trying to explain my interpretation of, of risk with them. So the dog's seen something obviously. Um, he's on guard, he's fine. So taking it right back to the start, so definitions. So the definition of risk in ISO 31000 is the effect of uncertainty on objectives. I purposely do follow that uh, definition myself. So we can actually split that down. People think that uh, that definition is too small. A lot of people don't uh, agree with it. And that's, again, that's absolutely fine. Um, but for me personally, when I think of my lived experience, it actually satisfies uh, everything that I'm looking for in a definition. The effect of uncertainty on objectives. We have to split that down because it does. The standard tells us there are three um, notes supporting that. And the first one is to break, this breaks down the definition, as a matter of fact, the effect. So the effect... So the effect is basically a deviation from the planned or from the expected. And that effect can be um, positive, it can be negative. Uh, it can also sort of lead to or address risks, threats and opportunities. So that wider um, explanation uh, for me of effect really does uh, assist my understanding. The second note is on objective and it says Objectives can have different aspects and different categories. It can be set at different levels. Yes, it can. Strategic, tactical, operational, um, project, program, department. So certainly objectives. So the effect of uncertainty on objectives. And critically, this, decision, this definition is talking about objectives, which is what risk is all about, isn't it? Uh, it's about supporting the achievement. Risk management is supporting the achievement of your objectives. The third note that supports that really small definition is that risk is usually, it's usually talked about in terms of, um, or expressed in terms of risk sources, risk events, and likelihood and consequence. That's what it's usually talked about. So for me there, that's everything in the definition that I personally need. To make this even more personal, when I've analyzed definitions uh, over many years, when I think about my introduction to risk, serious risk, that was the number of times I got attacked and blown up in, in Iraq. So when I think about what I was doing, I was carrying out an objective. And then in the vehicle that we were in, we got blown up. So the next time out, you're thinking, right, okay, what's the likelihood? What is the likelihood of us getting blown up again? Uh, then you're thinking, okay, what's the severity of um, us blowing, getting blown up? You think about what's the objectives of the organisations. So, so we're covering notes two and three there as well. And then that really is, isn't it? We go back to note one, and that is the effect. So that's the, that's just, we've gone, we've changed the effect. That effect, the effect is the change. It's not, it's not what we wanted uh, to, to achieve. And it can lead to, as we said, other threats and uh, uh, opportunities as well. So for me, my personal uh, definition of risk is the risk definition in ISO 31000. It makes sense to me when I add the notes through lived experience and and the final thing to say is again just reiterate find your own definition listen to others learn from others but once you can find your own you can articulate importantly to yourself consistently and also to your clients so that's it that's the first video um, on ISO 31000 um, 2018 and that is understanding the definition of risk thank you very much for watching stay safe stay healthy stay productive and stay dry Thanks for watching.